Prime Minister Trudeau just announced a big boost for seniors in Canada. He signed off on a plan that will give seniors who receive the Old Age Security, OAS, pension an extra $2,700. That's a lot of extra cash that could really make a difference in their lives. In our video, we're going to dive deep into what this means for seniors all across the country. First off, we'll explain who's eligible for this extra money. If you're a senior wondering if this applies to you, or if you're helping a senior in your life, you'll want to stick around to find out if you qualify. Next, we'll walk you through how to get your hands on this extra cash. We know navigating government paperwork can be confusing, so we'll break it down into easy steps to make sure everyone who's eligible can claim their rightful share. But wait, there's more. We'll also discuss when this boost in pensions is going to kick in. We know you're eager to start receiving that extra money, so we'll give you all the details on when you can expect to see it in your bank account. The new OAS rates kick in starting July 2024, with payments being automatically recalculated for those already receiving the pension. This increase applies to all eligible OAS recipients, with no additional paperwork required to access the higher payments. Let's break down who qualifies for the OAS increase, how much more you could receive each month, important dates to know, and what other potential pension enhancements could be coming. The old age security pension is one of the main sources of retirement income for Canadian seniors, along with the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, and private savings. Up until now, the maximum OAS payment for 2024 was set at $687.56 per month for those born on or before September 1, 1954. For those with an annual individual income above $86,912, the OAS amount gets reduced by 15 cents for every dollar of income over that threshold, until it reaches the OAS recovery tax, OAS clawback, but as of July 2024, the maximum OAS payment level will jump by $225 to $912.56 per month under the newly signed increase by Prime Minister Trudeau. This represents an annual raise of $2,700 for OAS recipients receiving the full pension amount, moving the maximum yearly OAS payment from $8,250.72 to $10,950.72. For seniors with lower annual incomes below the $86,912 recovery threshold, they will receive an OAS increase of $225 per month or more, depending on their specific income level. And even seniors whose OAS payments were previously reduced to $0 due to the recovery tax could start receiving payments again, as long as their income falls under the new higher income threshold. To put the impact in perspective, a senior couple both receiving the new maximum $912.56 OAS payment would get $21,901.44 per year from OAS. Before the increase, that amount was only $16,501.44. To qualify for the OAS pension from the government, you must be 65 years of age or older and meet legal status requirements regarding citizenship slash residency in Canada. Specifically, OAS is available to those who are a Canadian citizen or legal resident and have lived in Canada for at least 10 years since age 18. Additionally, your annual income level determines how much of the maximum OAS payment you can receive after age 65. Under the new rates scheduled for July 2024, seniors with a yearly income below $122,912 will receive the full OAS pension payment of $912.56 per month. Above that income threshold, the OAS amount gets reduced at a rate of $0.15 cents per dollar until it reaches $0 for those with an annual individual income over $158,912 or higher. It's important to note that the income amounts refer to individual income, not household or family income levels. So seniors with low pension slash retirement income could still qualify for the full OAS amount even if their spouse has additional earnings. The excellent news for current OAS pension recipients is that they don't need to apply or submit any additional paperwork to receive the higher payment amounts kicking in on July 1, 2024. Instead, the increase will happen automatically for those already enrolled in the OAS program through scheduled payment rate adjustments by Service Canada. Service Canada will determine your new monthly OAS payment based on income information from your latest tax returns on file with the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA. So Canadian seniors currently receiving the OAS pension can just sit back and wait for their payments to increase by $225 per month or more for those below the maximum threshold, starting in July 2024. However, 
Those currently not receiving the OAS pension will need to apply for it ahead of time to begin receiving the new increased rates in July. You can apply for OAS pension payments if you meet the eligibility criteria by visiting the Service Canada website or by calling 1-800-277-9914. Processing times may take several months so it's best to start the application process this year if possible. For low-income OAS recipients, additional financial assistance could be available through further increases to federal income supplement programs. The Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, and allowance benefits provide a monthly non-taxable payment on top of the OAS pension to those with incomes below certain thresholds. For example, under the new OAS increase, the maximum combined OAS-GIS payment for the lowest income seniors would climb to around $20,000 per year. At the same time, more retirees could become eligible for the GIS-allowance top-ups due to the higher income limits associated with the OAS increase. While details are still being finalized, the GIS and allowance will likely see payment rate boosts in conjunction with the OAS increase. The goal is to continue providing meaningful financial support to Canada's lowest income seniors. The government has also signaled upcoming improvements to the Registered Retirement Income Fund, RRIF, minimum withdrawal rules to provide more retirement income flexibility for seniors. While Canadian retirees get a sizable raise from the OAS pension increase, they may also benefit from a significant separate increase to the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, in 2025. Under the CPP enhancement first introduced in 2019, contribution rates have steadily increased over recent years to gradually boost the CPP pension payments over time. For example, the maximum CPP payment for new retirees in 2023 is $1,253.59 per month. However, by 2025 the full CPP amount will increase to around $1,400 per month. A senior couple could receive over $33,600 per year in combined OAS and CPP pension income once both programs are fully enhanced. As always, actual payment amounts will vary based on individual contributions and earnings history. But the dual pension increases represent meaningful extra income for retirees dealing with rising living costs on fixed incomes. One of the key advantages of both the OAS and CPP pensions is that they are indexed annually to increase with the cost of living. Under federal legislation, OAS payments automatically rise each year in January with inflation as measured by the Consumer Price Index, CPI. Similarly, the CPP pension gets an inflation adjustment annually in January using another price measurement the year-over-year -year increase in the Canadian Consumer Price Index. With high inflation rates above 6% in recent years, those automatic cost-of-living adjustments are crucial for maintaining the purchasing power of retirement incomes from OAS and CPP. Looking forward, the most recent federal budget included legislation to provide additional targeted inflation relief for low-income seniors through higher GIS benefits over the next two years. Overall, between the pension increases, additional low-income benefits, and guaranteed indexing, the financial security of retirees continues to be a key focus for the Canadian government. Based on a recent mandate letter to the Minister for Seniors, Kamal Kara, the federal government is examining further enhancements to support seniors' financial stability. Some of the potential policy changes under consideration include, additional increases to the OAS pension beyond July 2024 and automatic adjustments based on wage growth in addition to inflation, improvements to the CPP survivor's pension, disability benefits, and dropout provisions, higher limits for receiving the GIS and allowance benefits at lower income thresholds, expanded pension protection from bankruptcy for company retirement plans, lowering the minimum age for receiving CPP slash OAS pensio. End payments. Many of these discussions involve collaborating with the provinces and territories which share responsibility for aspects of pensions and elderly benefits. However, with a growing seniors population nationwide, there is general agreement that more needs to be done to help Canadians properly fund their retirement years. The recently approved OAS increase represents one concrete step toward that goal, according to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau.